today we'll be learning how to cut the lapel shirt learn how to cut the lapel shirt so um first and foremost we cut to the front first then i think this is folded like this put this like this so you just put it into two and divide the person measurements by four so we're doing size 44 size 44 so i want you guys to kindly stay to the end of this video and I promise you, you are going to learn a lot from it. So, guys, now the, the difference between this lapel shirt and the normal shirt is the allowance on the button size or the button hole, the allowance, and that allowance enables you to get that kind of V shape at the neck. That's what brings out the allowance there. So, maybe later on, I'm going to put a link on the description to show you guys how to fix the lapel collar. But for now, if you are already getting something, please like and subscribe for more updates on this channel. So guys, let's go. So the size is 44. Now we're going to do 44 divided by four. Is by by four by two first is 22. Then 22 divided by two is 11. So now for the lapel shirt, we'll be adding five inch allowance, five inch allowance. So that we are going to be adding. So 11 plus five is six is 16. Then plus one inch allowance for your sewing or if you want to cut or something. I usually use one inch. So that has. 17 okay sorry i think that yeah that's 17 okay this for the front remember i'm going to go for this one okay so guys this is the this is the back this is the back so we are folded into two already then remember that the front you added five inch plus one inch sewing allowance now for the for the back what we'll be doing will be minusing that five inch. I remember we calculated 17, so we're minusing five inch and leaving the one inch. So we'll be having 12 inch. Now, the back is always longer than the front with some inches, with like three inch, three and a half, or four. But since I'm doing a shirt, I'll be using I'll be using three and a half. You can use three, you can use four, but I'm using three and a half. So guys, this this already this already twelve. This already twelve. So I'll just measure from here. So that's eight and that's eight and a half. So guys, I want you to stay tuned to this video. I'm gonna learn a lot from it. So that's eight and a half. If you're getting something, like, share, you know, give it a, thumb, a thumbs up. You get. So I'm going to cut through now. I'm just marking it. Smooth. It's looking rough. Oh, yeah, I'm cutting it over. I'll do that. So, this is this for the back. So, now let's just continue. Let's just continue. So, the back now is always like this. Bring the front over. So, I'm doing this is that three inch, three and a half inch you added. Now this is the five inch. This is the five inch. This is the five inch. Now, this is where it gets interesting, guys. This is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets interesting. So from here now we just take our four inch downward. I usually use four. You are slim or you are I usually use four. So just four from four, you take to the to the beginning point here. You just slant it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, right? Just slant it for your lapel shirt. This is what you do. If we are doing um, a normal shirt, it's always together now. You get, but this is a lapel shirt, so just cut through like this and just cut. Okay, that's it. Now take it down, bring it down. Bring it down, 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 down. Bring it down. So there's no lights, so we we'll have to do the hand, you know now. So let's go. So you just fold and you make sure like half from this material is touching the front. So do like this. Make sure half that's the same allowance. Now let's go. Now our shoulder measurement is 18, 18 divided by 2. 
that's nine half inch along one that's 18 and a half 18 and a half from an armhole now nine and a half this place actually wants this thing to be big so we will be using armhole, armhole nine but if you're cutting the center it's going to be around eight and a half for this i just usually minus one inch for my shoulder measurements and the other one I'll just take one inch but since this person wants it kind of bogus so i'll just be i'll just do my nine a nine inch a nine inch yeah. That's where I get my size for my angle. My size is 11 plus 1 inch for sewing. My size is 44 divided by 4. 11 plus 1 inch for sewing. 12. So this is my 12. Now, remember this our 9 for our shoulder. Try, I mean, measurement, shoulder measurement. And this is our 12 allowance. So you just take from here to that 12. Not the allowance to that 12. So just mark through. You might not see this chalk here. I don't see this one. I really want to see it, but I think I'm using a pen. I believe I want to see this one. So, okay, I believe you should, you should be able to see this. And, guys, you just brought the lights. Wow. So, you're having around 11 here. Are you guys seeing this? We are having around 11. So, 11 divided by 2 is around 5 and a half inch. So, 5 and a half inch. Well, that's 5 and a half inch. You take 2 inch inward. That's for your armhole. So, you take 2 inch inward. So, this is to avoid those wrong, wrong parts the chest side so guys we just connect the dots connect to here to here so let's go most people use this the french curve and rear but i'm a freehand designer so i know what i'm doing so let's go you guys have seen this so guys we don't need to send this okay i think that's good that's good to go now for this we take our neck measurement so this person's neck measurement is 16 so we're taking like 2.5 inch from the back then from here we'll be taking like five so either ways if after making the circle you didn't get the 16 or you're getting more than 16 you can just reduce it there's a formula for this neck but maybe that will be another story for another video so we just calculate if it's up to the 16 we need so this is 17 and a half no no let's reduce so we get our 16 Let's reduce to become 16. So, guys, I think I have to own my iron so, so that I will. So, my iron is getting hot, so I'll relax this very well. So, let's calculate again from here. So, we get it. Um, this is 17. Okay, I think, guys, we'll be 17 because the person wants it big. We'll just do 17. Let's work with 17. But if it's not up to you, reduce or if it's more than. You reduce if it's not up to you add so let's go i think that's all now for this if you are cutting this this lapel you have to stop here exactly where this back stopped that way you are going to cut your neck and cut like this and you are saying this so you cut the down you leave this place you don't have to cut this place i don't know if you guys are seeing what i'm doing okay let's go let's go let's go let's go let's cut I'm going to cut now. So guys, let's just cut through. I think you're seeing the marking. So you know what we're doing now, right? I'm just cutting through now. So young cobos, a young teeting on dog, he has salam on condo, he only vele young cobos, he only vele young cobos. No, we are not cutting this, I'm not cutting it out. We are cutting like this. So We are getting to our destination now. You just cut out this. Make sure you're not cutting the back oh, because you cut the back on your own. You can explain tire. So, guys, so what I did this is still flowing. This is still flowing. So, let's cut. Remember, this is our 12, so we are going to just trim it out. guys thank you for watching you can just cut your sleeves no matter where you cut sleeves what i just wanted to show you guys is how to cut this lapel how to cut the lapel shirt and i'll be making a video on how to show it for those that don't know how to so guys thank you for watching if you get something like share subscribe for others to learn too thank you